functions in your DAX. So how we can use them? Let's see. So first of all, we will use your if function. So for if function, I will create a new column here. Just clicking on the new column. So we have a new column here. And now in, in this new column, we want to find out price of our product. Like we have a quantity here and sales here. And from that, we want to find out the price. So how we can find the price? So I will just give a name here, price equal to and to finding out the price what we can do we can divide our sales by quantity but like if there will be some error question maybe like if there is some error like maybe the quantity is zero in some cases or sales will be zero so it will give error for for that case what we will do we will use an error function so first of all we will do if error function if error function I will just type if error and then open it and then I will divide this sales by quantity and our quantity is logical data quantity and if we don't get any answer after that then it will give answer 0 and just press enter here and now you will see like we have a certain answer here because we have divided this but in case like if there is no value here in that case it like if the quantity is zero like in our case we are getting every answer but suppose like if we have a zero here in some field like if we will put go there and like if you have some zero value here in that case there will be no, no I will just check it if there is any zero value So here every time we, we got a value but like suppose some case here like in case of this quantity if we will take price uh, sorry discount then we will find some problem here like if I will take discount here and just press enter because in discount we have some values which are zero so we can't divide them now you will see like wherever we have discount like this 0.02 we can have answer but where there is zero so it will automatically go to zero and give the answer as zero because we are dividing this number by zero so that's way so our error if error message can be used in such things and next thing is what we will do I will go to this our new column and in new column if we want to give some certain condition like uh, if you want to say like if our quantity is more than 10 we will say a condition here like if our quantity is more than 10 what we will like we will say excellent sales and if its quantity is less than sell then less than 10 in that case we will say like we have make like we have a maximum quantity 14 here so 13 12 so 10 is in our so we can say like if we have sales more than 10 or equal to 10 then it's we have good sales otherwise average so for that we can use a formula which we call if function so if function is basically which check your two conditions one is true and the another one is false so let's see we will say so I will write our name here as status and after that equal to and then I will put if so if function will check two condition that is similar to our excel whatever formula we will do in excel this is similar to that and i will type here quantity so it will automatically put the column name here and then i will put this equal to and greater than 10 so this is our condition if our column quantity is having a value more than 10 then what answer it will give so it will give answer as good sales and otherwise it will give average sales so if we have sales of quantity more than 10 or equal to 10 is good sale otherwise average sales. so let's see what will be the answer in the column so I will just click over this and we have an answer here it's given an error might be because we have taken some problem here so we have to check it out maybe this will come here and this will come this place before 
and just check so now we have an answer here so we have to take greater than sign before equal to so we can have an answer here and like suppose like if i will change this quantity here from descending to ascending order now we have an average sale here because it's one so our condition is if sales is more than your 10 that case good sales otherwise average sale so this is the two way we can do our if error and sales next is our condition is your using an and function to use an and function we will take another condition like suppose we will say and is used for connecting two columns like if the in two columns if the conditions is true then it will give the only the answer like say like if we have sale of your profit like suppose we will say i will just increase the size uh, so it will keep it in i will just click over this and descending order now i will say if our like we have a different sales here i can even increase the sales also uh, ascending order okay not ascending descending order okay so we have a sales like this different different sales is there so i will take a condition here like if sales is more than 4000 our condition is if sales is more than 4000 and our quantity sales is also more than 10 only then say good sales like excellent otherwise say average then we will say excellent otherwise we say average so we have to add a new column and give it a name here I can give it a name like your best sales for us what is the best sales here so we will say equal to and then I will put if here and then I will put and and after putting and I will open the bracket and I will take the first column here which is our sales I will type sales here and put a condition here and which is your greater than and equal to I will put right like this greater than equal to I will say our 4000 first condition is like it is more than 4000 and the second condition is our quantity And in quantity, logical quantity, if more than I will say equal to and more than I will say 10. So we have taken two conditions. One is like if the sales is more than uh, 4000 and the another one is that our quantity should be more than 10. Then what we will do, we will give excellent and otherwise we will say average so let's see what will be the answer i will just click over this if there is any error it will show error message or otherwise it will give the answer so in, in this our case it will give the error message and i think the problem with this like we have to close this i will just close this bracket here and let's see whether the answer will come or not So we still have an average here so we have to check where is the problem here i think we have to put a comma here i will put comma here and let's check it's still showing us a uh, problem here so i have to check if and logical function greater than logical quantity this one here we have closed the bracket here we have given excellent here we have given the and function logical data and this one and this one okay I think we have taken this wrong it should be taken before this and just check so now we have an answer here so everything should be in a proper manner only then we can get an answer so we have an average sale here and like if we will have quantity which is more than I will just increase this sales and let's see when we will have the maximum ascending order or like it's already in the descending order so descending order so where we have our uh, excellent sales so excellent sale will be when we have more than 4000 and 10 so like here we can have excellent 
again we can see here we have extending 4 then 4000 on 10 so that's the way we can do something and find out our report of our error next thing is our or function so how we can use an or function here so for using the or function any one column can be true so any from out of two column any one column to be true so in, ca in this case we will say like or function and say like if our sales is more than 20,000 or our quantity is 14 any one any one quantity any one column value is true then we will say excellent sale see okay so like they have taken a different way of finding out the reports like what we want to give the reports uh, best sales we will give name best uh, we can give any name like we can give this name best salesman we give name and then we will put equal to here and now I will put an or here we can directly put an or here and then we will open it and logical condition 1 and logical condition 1 is your and first of all I will put if here then I will put or and then I will open the bracket and the first condition is your sales I will put best sales here and I will take if it's greater than 20,000 and the second condition is your um, I will say quantity quantity is greater than 10 so any out any one out of them if is true so it will give answer excellent or else it will give average and then we will just click over this so we can have a new column here best salesmen so we will find out the best salesmen who have made the maximum like excellent because it has sales more than 20,000 this is the average so two conditions would be true either he has made more than 10 sales or either he will be a make a sales of 20 more than 20,000 so that's way we can find out different way of using this logical statement in power bi dax that's all from this video thank you